Let me begin with a couple of interesting facts and the first one is that the Sun is actually a huge nuclear reactor that emits a UV rays, that's a type of radiation. One way to protect ourselves from that radiation is by applying some screen protection, having an umbrella, sunglasses, hats and also the one that we're going to be discussing today is applying a film on our windows and that's what we call the tint. Another interesting fact is that the tin dates all the way back to 1966. The tins that they were applying back then, they were actually attracting the heat. So, not very successful. But since 1966, technology has improved massively and the tins nowadays are much better in protecting, isolating those UV rays coming from the sun and protecting the interior, protecting the skin. You feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. What I'm going to do now is use two meters. First one is a solar power meter. So it is this device here, which is going to show me the power coming from the sun and going into the car. So that's, I'm going to point it through the window of the car towards the sun just to see how much of that power is stopped by the window of the car. And the other meter that I'm going to be using is the transmission meter so that device over here so that transmission meter is going to show me the visible light transmitted through the window and how much of a factory tint is applied onto the windows of the BMW Z4 The first important thing to do is take a control measure using that clear glass and we're going to put it in front of the solar power meter and see what is going to be the measurement that we're going to get. So now we are pointed right towards the sun and what we are getting is 820. So it's in the range of anywhere between 800 and 830. The window of the car is pointed exactly the same way as we had the glass so we're gonna take the measure so what you're getting now for the watts coming through the glass of the car is around 480 so here we get much more consistent number it's in the range of 480 and 500 Let's see the BTUs, and the BTUs are 156, 100 and yeah, again, much more consistent, 154, so it's in the range of 154 and 156. That is for the BTUs, let's go back to the watts, and again we are in the 500 watts, so definitely there is some protection. Now we're gonna see what the light transmission meter is gonna show. Uh, let's see if I can put it this way. Okay, so these are the numbers. You saw the results and yeah, the windows didn't perform very well. Now the factory tint, if I was able to compare it to one car, that should be the Lexus, as that's the only other measurement that I have taken from windows so far. And the factory tint on the Lexus windows is much better. 
whether that is because the Lexus is a newer vehicle, it's about 12 years newer than this one, or because it's higher end vehicle, I'm not sure, but yes, the Lexus factory tint is much better than the tint on the BMW Z4 E85. But another thing to consider is whether it is worth it tinting the windows on a convertible car. To me it's something like wearing sunglasses in the night. For some it may look cool, for others definitely silly, but it is definitely of no, of no benefit. So yeah, to me it's the same with the tint on a convertible car. It may look cool for some, for others it may look silly and it definitely has no benefit as the times that you mainly need that tint is during the summer months when the sun is the strongest and when you have the sunroof down because that's when you can enjoy actually driving a convertible then it defeats the purpose so you may have the windows tinted but if it's if the sun is blasting that heat and those uv rays on top of your head on your arms and on your body having the windows tinted are definitely not going to protect you the benefit on that would be if you had the front windshield tinted and that is going to protect the dash and obviously the side windows uh, can protect the door cards of the car but apart from that hmm, again i'm going to leave it to you to decide i think for me personally i'm not going to tint it i really like the look of my car without having the windows tinted until there is a reason that is going to change my mind i'm going to keep it as it is Thank you very much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.